Hi guys, what's going on? My name is Caleb Wiles and I have a brand new review for you. This time we're looking at Tyler Wilson's Reinventing the Real. A new hardcover book from uh, Cherry Villain and there's some really cool things in here. I'm really impressed with this book. Uh, if you've read Tyler's first book, Dominatrix, I think you'll have an idea of his kind of writing style and the way he performs his magic. What makes his books really cool is that not only are they clearly written and easy to understand, but they're actually a fun read. He's entertaining during the explanation uh, section, so you, you kind of don't get bogged down with the details. You, you actually enjoy reading through the book. Um, he's got some really interesting things in here. First of all, the layout is really nice. Um, it's actually two-color layout, red and black, throughout the book. Um, plenty of illustrations to learn from, clear writing like I mentioned before. As far as the magic, I would have to say that probably my favorite idea um, is actually a coin trick which is kind of a card trick. It's based on Hammond's signed card plot only done with coins and it uses a, an auditory illusion as well as a visual illusion um, that makes for a really interesting premise. And you're going to find really cool premises throughout this entire book. Tyler has a really cool way of thinking about magic and he's not always just, oh here pick a card, I'll find the card. He always finds a way to integrate a really interesting pr uh, presentation into his magic which is quite refreshing in this day and age. Um, Another routine I definitely want to mention is uh, a method for getting a signed card into a legitimately sealed envelope that's been held by the audience from the very beginning. You can walk out on stage, hand out an envelope, they can check it, they can sign it, they hold on to it the whole time. They feel inside there's a folded up object and later on during your show you might have someone do a signed card routine, um, they write their name on the card, and at the end you can actually take the envelope back from the audience, rip it open, and inside they can reach in and pull it out themselves if they want. There's no funny dumping out moves for a switch. It really does legitimately come out um, from the inside of the envelope and it ends up being a folded up signed card. Uh, a totally awesome method for the old card to impossible location routine. Um, the layout, like I said, is awesome. He made some really interesting design choices that kind of make this book stand out a little bit. First of all, it's a hardcover book and uh, he decided not to go with a full size wraparound, which is actually kind of an interesting design choice. And what's really cool is he actually wrote the title of the book here on the side. Um, so you're going to find things like that throughout the book, little surprises, little jokes that are kind of inside jokes and magic. Um, so you're going to have a fun time hunting through the routines and uh, picking up on all the subtleties and all the lines he's got. Uh, he, he has his full scripts for all of the routines. There's a multiple selection routine in here. Um, a card transposition where the cards actually transpose while it's inside your mouth, which sounds really sick, but it's, I've seen him do it. It's really funny. Uh, he's got a version of the anniversary waltz ungapped in here, and there's just so much really cool material. Tyler Wilson is one of those guys that once you meet him, he makes an impression on you, and you'll never forget him. He's totally off the wall, totally off the, uh, the beaten path, and there's tons of contrarian thinking in here where Tyler challenges some of the things that we accept usually as magic magicians just as fact. And uh, Tyler's going to make you rethink about some of those things. So I think you're going to enjoy the book. Um, you can buy the book at the Cherry Villain website. I'll put a link um, next to this uh, in the description. And I think you're going to enjoy it. So I definitely recommend you pick this up. And I'll see you next time.